What is Shopify's dropshipping for business? In this video, I will explain to you what is Shopify and also how you can use Shopify for your online business. As you can see that I am inside the members area of Shopify. But first of all, if you want to use Shopify's 30 days free trial, click the link down below in the description of this YouTube video to use Shopify's 30 days free trial. Now, let me show you what you can able to add your own products on Shopify. Uh, I'm going to show you what you need to do uh, to add your own product. Just go to product session. Then here under product session, you can able to add your own product. You can also import existing stores. If you have already existing stores uh, or existing product, you can also import them here. But now let me show you how you can able to add your own product on Shopify. Just click on add product. Then you have to write a product image. Uh, you have to write a product. Sorry, you have to write a product title uh, that you want to sell. Just put the title of the product there. Then below that, you're gonna go to description. You have to write a product description that you want to sell on Shopify. But I use this AI feature from Shopify, which can write any product description for me automatically. All you have to do, you have to put some related keywords about the product that you want to sell on Shopify. I'm going to put the my related keywords. Then for the tone of voice, I'm going to leave as a default, as an expert. I'm going to click to generate. What's going to happen now? This AI tool is going to write for me a product description automatically. You can also write it again. If you don't like it, you can also write it again so that your product description can belong. You can do that. I'm just showing you what you can do with Shopify. Then. You can go to media under media on Shopify. You can also import, you can also upload images or the videos to your Shopify store. Then you can also go to category. Then on a category, you have to choose you have to choose related categories about the products that you want to sell on Shopify. Then you can also choose, you can also go to product organization and choose the product type, the vendor and collections. You can also put the tags. Now let's go to pricing. Then under pricing, you can put the price that you want to sell your products. You can also put the compare at the price. Then you can also put the cost per item, how much it is costing you to buy this product in your shop, in your supplier. Then Shopify is going to show you the profit that you'll be making and also the margins that you'll be making. Then for the inventory, leave everything as default. Then for the shop location, you have to put there. If you are running out of stock, you, know, you have to let your, visit, your, your customers know can also uh, do that okay this is how it is it is to add your own product on shopify you can also change the status of your, of your store to be active or unactive it is up to you guys then now you can also go to collections you can also see the collections that you have you can also check the inventory you can also check the purchasing history the purchasing orders you can also do some transfers transfer money into your bank account you can also check the gift card here on shopify now Let's go to call. Let's go to customers here. So under customers here on Shopify, you can able to track on how your store. So you can able to see uh, your customers details here on Shopify. Then you wanna go to uh, to analytics. Then under analytics, you can able to track how your store it is performing based on a specific day. You can also check the total sales that you have. You can also check the top selling products. You can also check the online store conversion rate on shopify you can also check the online store sessions meaning that how many visitors that you have in your store right now and also the other the, the average conversion rate if let's say out of 200 people in your store you are getting 20 percent average conversion rate it means that the street is performing very very well guys okay uh, you can also check the retaining customer rate and also the sales attributed to marketing now you can also go to marketing under marketing, you can also offer email marketing. You can also send email follow-ups on customers who went through on the checkout page, but they never purchase. You can remind them via email so that those people they wanna buy through you via emails in a Shopify store. You can also offer some discounts, you know, especially on holidays, guys, or maybe it's your birthday, or you just offer ten percent discounts. You wanna get a lot of orders doing that, guys. People they love discounts. Trust me. I'm sure you love discount as well. When you can offer discounts in your Shopify store, you can get more orders, guys. Okay. 
then you can also go to online stores these are the done for you themes then done for you stores from shopify